Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, because of this topic is very important, I recommend strongly to all ultrasound tech with any specialty. Check this uh, lecture, you will love it and you will get a lot of information with any kind of the specialty. You will use a lot of those information in your practice. Now let's do it. For making understand uh, how much is important uh, Doppler study, let's uh, start with the case study and see how much uh, just one small study in one spot with color Doppler and pulse give us how much information. Here we have a patient 55 years old with dizziness. It has, he has been sent for the uh, carotid ultrasound. In one of those uh, view, as you can see, shot proximal right CCA, common carotid artery proximal. Take did this study, color, uh, you can see Doppler and color here, duplex or duplex. We call it both together duplex study. You can see this uh, Doppler and Parsway Doppler and color here. Answer to this question just based on this uh, duplex. What is wrong with color Doppler? Is that wrong or not? Uh, does the patient has stenosis at this level? Uh, what is wrong with the pulse Doppler? What are those letters represent? A, B, C, D, and what those are representing and exactly what those are. What the patient has, what problem based on this, these two you can see, what the problem patient has or what is the diagnosis just based on this. How to fix those uh, mistakes that tech has been done. What do you expect to see in IC based on this? What do you expect to see in ICA uh, Doppler? Which spot represent on this uh, Doppler, pulse Doppler? Which spot represent closing aortic valve? What do you expect to see in abdominal aorta uh, Doppler? And what study should be done on this patient. At the end of this lecture, I'm going to answer to all those questions. Just be with me and think about those questions. In this lecture, we are going to answer to all those concepts and go review and everything normal and abnormal in all those uh, study vascular, carotid, abdomen and everywhere. Ultrasound is one of the safest uh, diagnostic technology that uh, human has invented. Since uh, 1956 that has been approved for clinical purpose, ultrasound has developed a lot and unbelievable the indications, applications and technology increase a lot. Generally, we have two type of the ultrasound modality for using, therapeutic and diagnostic. Therapeutic in all field, cosmetic, physiotherapy, neoplasia, surgery. But the most important for us here is uh, diagnostic. Based on the physics of the sound and technology, diagnostic uh, has many modality. Uh, the first and the basic one was A mode that usually at the beginning they was uh, it was used uh, for in ophthalmology, but nowadays with advanced technology, nobody used the A mode. M mode or motion mode or monoline uh, imaging mode, 2D or two dimension stand for that or B stand for the brightness or grayscale Doppler. Combine 3D, 4D, elastography, strain imaging, speckle imaging, and every year's a new modality add-on. Here are those some uh, modality 2D in echo, in abdomen, everywhere. 2D create the image 2D for us, grayscale or brightness. 
M A mode here we have M mode we have here combination of the all type of the Doppler color Doppler 2D and spectral that we these two together we call the duplex because is combination of the color and uh, 2D we call it duplex when it comes all three together we call triplex I'm surprised why they don't say triplex triplex here he has another uh, color Doppler we called it angio that uh, dismissed and ignored the direction of the uh, flow so it show all of them we called it uh, power Doppler or angio here we have color M mode combination of color and M mode here we have combination of the uh, tissue Doppler with M mode here is tissue Doppler that all these three usually used in the echo we have elastography and especially oncology we use a lot breast prostate uh, and especially liver here 3d and 4d in OBGYN and echo we use a lot here we have in vascular especially B flow and S flow in uh, mid 18th century uh, uh, Austrian uh, mathematist and physicist Christian Doppler and a few uh, years later French uh, physicist Armand Physio they found a specific uh, behavior of the sound that nowadays we call it uh, Doppler in this uh, principle when a, uh, a object move the front of the object create a high frequency sound and the beyond that object uh, create a lower frequency for example if you as you had experience when the airplane come toward you the sound become high pitch the frequency is higher when it pass you it become low pitch frequency drop from this, this principle, nowadays we use in the ultrasound machine. Based on this principle, when we send a sound uh, with a specific frequency through, uh, to, toward the moving object, here uh, red blood cell inside of the vessel, if the moving object move toward the transducer or against the sound wave direction, the frequency that has been reflected by those red blood cell increased. We called it to this increasing positive shift because the Doppler frequency of the reflected sound has been increased. And if the moving object go away from this way, away from transducer or same direction of the sound pulse way, it become negative shift, frequency dropped. With this formula, we can calculate exactly those uh, changes that we call the Doppler shift. Doppler shift means the differences between the frequency of the sound wave has been sent and the frequency of the sound that reflected and came back to the probe. Probe already knows what uh, frequency has been sent and when it come back, it can detect the frequency of reflected sound so it calculate the Doppler shift based on that if we change the formula we can detect the velocity of the moving object by this formula cosinus is the angle between the uh, sound wave and the direction of the moving object and C is the velocity or speed of the sound in that environment here in tissue we take it as 1540 meter per second. Now, these changes can be detect and display in two way. One way with the color. Here we have color uh, Doppler. In color Doppler, we have a color bar scale and machine tell you that if the, that moving object that I am screening and detecting, if is uh, moved toward transducer or against the sound wave direction I show it positive 
here up of the zero, here is baseline zero. If it goes above the zero, we call the positive shift. And it show here in this uh, display is showing blue. And if it goes away from transducer or the same direction of the sound way, I show it negative red here. As you know, we can change this direction. We can change it red up positive and blue negative upside down in the control panel of the machine. So in that case, for example, this structure is that leg in the tie and femoral. You can see, say, okay, this vessel and this uh, color bo steering box later, I uh, talk about that. It shows that uh, sound wave is this way and the blood flow go almost the same and so is the same direction or away from transducer that is here it show negative shift red here this blood you can say based on the color is go toward the sound wave sound wave so positive shift this blue another way we display and detect this doppler shifting is we call it spectral doppler a spectral doppler we have two type Continuous wave, we call CW Doppler, and pulse wave, PW Doppler. In continuous, machine send a sound uh, at this direction, and all the direction of the sound wave in each spot detect uh, velocity and everything and show a broad spectral uh, pattern. In the pulse wave, it only detect from a specific spot that we call sample volume. Here you can see two dash. Uh, only detect in that specific spot and show the here as a pulse wave that is more clear and is because it's only a specific spot, not the continuous. If it's continuous, it detect this spot, this spot, all them, so it become pattern like the broadening spectral. Let's go now each of them one by one how we read it, how we optimize it, and how we evaluate. As you may notice, uh, the Doppler shift dependent of the angle of insonation, the angle between the uh, movement object and the sound wave direction, sound pulse wave here. We called it cosinus. The cosinus of the, if uh, you know here we have cosinus different, uh, the cosinus of different angle, how much will be. If the sound wave uh, hit the moving object perpendicular, means this angle become 90 degree, the cosine of the 90 degree is a zero. And the zero, the result of Doppler shift will be zero, means the DOP machine, ultrasound, cannot pick up any, any Doppler shift and it show black, no blood flow, doesn't show any blood flow. So for that, uh, because of that principle, we try to make it some angle between the sound wave and uh, moving object, as much as possible, less. Because if it goes parallel to direction, if you put uh, imaging, for example, SMA, we can make it sound wave completely parallel to the uh, vessel. In that case, whatever machine re register, it will be the exactly accurate number of the moving that object, that is blood. Because the cosinus of zero, angle between them zero, is one, and one, it gives you exactly Doppler shift become velocity of the sound and all those formula. But unfortunately, in the vascular study, only in a small, some, some specific location, we can make it the sound wave uh, parallel to the moving object, especially in the neck almost in a specific spot, otherwise we cannot. Always there is some angle between the moving object blood and uh, sound uh, pulse wave. For fixing this problem, we have two options. One option is the uh, man uh, probe maneuver. As you know, the, we have one of the maneuver for probe is rocking or heel towing. Uh, here, 
we have a uh, rocking uh, shape of the uh, probe when we do rocking here at the notch position the footprint is uh, here and the marker is here if we tilt to the marker side we call towing if we tilt up other side we call healing so towing and healing or healing and towing or rocking in this uh, maneuver we change the direction of the sound wave to the uh, moving object or vessel here in this one that center is perpendicular if we scan the vessel in this way it doesn't show any uh, color at this center because it's perpendicular and cosinus of the 90 degrees zero but if we're doing towing or healing it can register uh, some blood flow at that level for example for fixing this problem because we don't uh, have too much maneuver in the neck especially uh, is very tough and rigid neck region and we don't want to push too much because it makes narrowing some vessel so for fixing this problem and get over this problem they uh, put some uh, option we call steering box as you know when we put color we have a color box there is an option we can change the color box direction here uh, make it straight or make it to the right side or to the left side the direction of the color box we call it steering to the right steering to the left what does mean what does the machine do in this situation in the string straight machine send the pulse doppler for color doppler straight perpendicular to the footprint exactly the same direction of 2d pulse here you can see direction will be this way uh, now let's see if we have some angle between the blood flow and the pulse wave direction it can register some color here we have a bifurcation of the uh, CCA, CCA and ECA and ICA. Blood flow at this level, proximal or bulb, goes at the bifurcation goes here, so is toward the sound wave, against of the sound wave or toward the probe. So it gives it positive shift, positive shift here on the scale color it show is show uh, red to yellow so it show positive shift red here but from here moving this way so is away from transducer or the same direction of the sound wave so it show it caused negative shift and machine show with negative shift that is here blue for the both of the branches ECA and ICA as you may notice here we have some black area at the ICA here at the beginning proximal and the proximal of the ECA2 at here what those are there are two reasons can be one reason that blood flow at that those two spot exactly uh, uh, parallel to the sound wave uh, the footprint or perpendicular to the sound wave pulse means the direction of sound at that specific is perpendicular the blood flow here too this is one reason that doesn't register any blood flow at that this spot or no there are some pathology uh, like the hypoecho structure plaque fresh plaque blood clot there and it doesn't register any blood flow so for that one we, we have to go do two options we do steering at this level or heel towing and steering and see if we can uh, see any blood flow if with steering or heel towing it shows some uh, blood flow there it show okay that is because of the principle of the sound and uh, that area of blood flow was perpendicular uh, to the uh, sound wave pulse if not with the optimizing image there are some pathology and we have to uh, do more uh, maneuver optimizing different angles short access and all the stuff that is out of this lecture later we talk about that on the plaque and pathology on the cca and ica eca i am going to talk about that in another lecture for
For when we have using steering right side toward the right, the sound wave will be angling to the right side. So in that way, whatever the direction of the blood flow to the direction of the sound wave will be, it shows positive or negative shift. For example, here, as you can see, this is the uh, proximal and distal of the common carotid artery in the right side. Blood flow goes normally this way to the distal, so is uh, per, uh, toward the transducer or against the sound wave. Toward the transducer or against the sound wave direction, so it gives us positive shift. Positive shift is here red, so it shows red. On this spot, the start become uh, changing the direction. At the changing of the direction, and here, as you can see, the angle between the blood flow and sound wave increase and in some specific spot become 90 degree, so it become black. This black line means uh, Doppler shift is zero, so it show a black at the baseline zero. Then from that part goes to the beyond, the direction change and become away from transducer or the same direction of the sound wave, it show us negative shift that will be blue. When we do steering on the left side, the sound wave parts will be direction this way, all the way. So based on those direction and the blood flow, it register whatever it is. As you can see here, we have two uh, vessel, one here and one there. When you say opposite each other, you know one of them is vessel. Based on the direction you can see this is here positive shift it show if go toward the transducer so towards it here is distal here is proximal so this is vein here as you notice color box scale has been changed normally we do uh, positive red and negative blue but for the practical point showing the uh, artery as a red and the vein as blue, sometimes you have to change. Because here, if we put it uh, red top here as a normal standard, positive, red, negative, blue, here it show uh, blood flow from this one goes, this is one of the, his proximal ICA. ICA, if we go make it here, positive shift uh, red and negative shift blue, in this, uh, situation it become blue and it looks impression of the vein for getting over that and our mind always be set up with the okay artery is red and uh, vein is blue we change this color box direction here everybody I hope understand that one. so here just for showing this is vein and this is artery nothing else now here, let's see some example. Here we are in abdomen with the vector probe for echo, doesn't matter. Here we have uh, a splenic vein, as you can see. Here we have aorta, here we have IVC, and here you can guess what will be. This is from here, this side, from the left of patient come to the right side of the patient and drain to the IVC. This is left renal vein. Yes, that's true. Now, let's see here in the splenic vein. As you can see, splenic vein, blood goes from the uh, distal, go back to the portal and join to the portal vein. And uh, here, direction normal will be from this way and this way. At the beginning here, sound wave is here and blood goes that way. So, blood flow against the sound wave or toward the probe. So it show positive shift. You can see positive shift. At this level, you don't see too much because almost perpendicular and our scale is a little high anyway. So we don't see here is black, most probably because it's almost close to 90 degree. It's empty here, you don't see. But here, angle a little decrease. So you can see it goes away from transducer or direction of the sound wave is show positive shift. So negative, positive and negative. You can see based on this, for example, if the patient has portal hypertension, 
blo blood flow become reverse go from this side so here you can see red and here you can see blue in the portal hypertension here you can see uh, celiac artery you can go there and go branches two branches here we have you can see go blood flow you know this is uh, blood flow goes this way drain but one thing you have to remember here later we talk about the renal artery the renal artery blood goes this way too uh, how you can differentiate it is artery or uh, vein it's very easy connection where second the velocity and pulse and all those stuff this is collapsing and disappearing and all those stuff later we talk about that as you can see here the change of the aortic color is change red and blue so depending of the direction at that moment if his sound wave is toward the blood flow is become red is against the blood flow become uh, negative shift blue red or blue or another way the patient maybe had aortic insufficiency later we talk about that here we have another example of the concept of color doppler here aortic arc we can see here uh, rooster view or aortic arc doesn't matter we have those three branches uh, here we have here we have it brachiocephalic, then left common carotid and left subclavian. And here we have aortic arc and here right pulmonary artery. Anyway, here as you can see, blood flow goes this way and this way. So at this level up to here is toward the transducer or against the sound wave pulse. So it goes as positive shift. Positive shift here is show red and you show red. From here, the direction will become 90 degree. There is a black line between them, suddenly change, and then become away from transducer, become negative shift. So it is the Doppler shift changing. I am going to here explain, but later more detail. Here is Doppler shift changing, and here there is something, color change, why it become red, uh, and red and yellow here. Red and yellow is positive, uh, but it should away and all be should be blue why it happened there is uh, we called some effect we called aliasing at this level that is correspond with the close to the patent doctors arteries and ligament here it become a little narrower and velocity at this level increased when velocity increase above the nucleus limit it it goes over the our Nucleus limit and that machine cannot register rapid around here rapid around and show the other side so we will see different changes the differences between aliasing and doppler shift in doppler shift changing we see a borderline uh, black and it's changed from the red to blue that's it but in aliasing we have a spectrum of the color and we don't see any black so we will see different spectral of the blue and different spectral of the yellow and red that is aliasing for a correct vascular study we need follow 10 principles and rules the first and most important part is uh, selecting correct frequency the frequency we use depending of the depth and amount of the attenuation and structure we are going to scan as general rules for carotid study we use usually about 8 megahertz for upper extremity depending again depth uh, around 5 to 8 for abdomen around uh, 2 megahertz for lower extremity around 5 again but that is, uh, you have to be flexible and see depend uh, what tissue and interest area is and what is the depth of your study. For example, if you are uh, scanning uh, right subclavian and you want to see proximal of the common carotid artery, around seven, eight is okay, it's working. Then you go a little more to the mid and distal to the carotid you increase your uh, frequency to the 8 and even 10 because become more superficial less attenuation or opposite way 
if you are going to scan left common carotid proximal, you have to drop it your frequency to that four, three, even less, because it's deeper and attenuation is very high. There is option usually we use on the uh, machine, the resolution is that higher frequency, general average, and penetration is uh, lower frequency. But if not, we have to, if it doesn't help, we have to change our probe and use the proper frequency. Just remember, for each area, if your depth change, your frequency should be changed too. That is general rules.